For my lovely 5D mystics, this new moon is bringing you a lot of contemplative and synchronistic moments. All of it is with an integrated mind or one that moves towards integration and a restorative embodied self or one that moves towards that. And in all cases, the energies, while for 4D, and others who only hone in on the astrological events from either a metaphysics as a terrorism perspective or only a spirituality perspective, the 5D person is actually always experiencing it with the human perspective and embracing those other data points. So this looks like, I'm going to use an example. You are writing something out it reminds you of moments from your past. It reminds you of specific emotions as well. You realize that it's a different moment though. This is the power of now, by the way. So you are in the now while being aware of your implicit memory. And so you're using a prefrontal cortex, your third eye, and implicit memory from what I remember, they say it comes up from that brain stem, but we'll leave that one alone because I'm not 100% sure on the linearity of this. What I am sure of is as you recall the past and it surfaces, that's a explicit memory of something from the past, but you also have emotions. So this is why the implicit part, sensations. So we'll say there are sensations that come up. There's a remembering of something similar. It's the same as something that is being done now, but it's different because it's with different people. It's with different words. It's a different moment in time. Okay. For my 5D mystics, especially if you're in the Enlightenmental Age group, you're a constant expanding consciousness. And so for you, this is something you experience in a different way than those who say, I've changed. Okay, and that's why I do this, because those who say they've changed, they didn't maintain or establish yet a relationship with their pure self. I use my name, my name's Maria. And everything that is external to me, that I'm a sister, that I'm a daughter, that I'm an online entrepreneur, all these words, that I have a brain, I know I have a brain, but I'm saying they're all words that I use and acknowledge, but they are not like set in stone or if somebody uses another word that I am still the teenage me who says, don't use another word. That was when I would do stuff like that. Then people, educators, taught me how words change in time. Dictionaries update, books update. And I became, lo and behold, an adult. Now I see adults that are not choosing to be adults, but we'll leave that one to the side. As I was saying, for those of you here who are mystics, it's for you that I share the New Moon channeled guidance because you're the ones who have this relationship with this field. If you're not officially in that enlightenment soul age group, this means you have a very different way that you're experiencing this because you have been mastering recently your emotional plane. So this means you will have realized, I am deserving of unconditional love with my flaws and imperfections. I am not deserving of being shamed, blamed. I'm not deserving of being accused. I'm not deserving of having any form of retaliation, me towards another or another towards myself. I'm not deserving of human conflict. No person is deserving of something like this because this creates suffering. And no, humanity doesn't have to live suffering. There's actually ways for not only the individual to not be in it, physiologically speaking, it's called moving into compassion, but also humanly speaking. So my 5D mystics who have finally moved into their 5D-ness, you know you're deserving of unconditional love and that your loved ones are either safe harbors for you to be able to be yourself and they're great launching pads, or you're going to have ways to share with them from a ventral vagal nerve a no or a conversation, heart-to-heart, -heart, authentic, transparent, and actually very, very much where it doesn't matter how heated it can get, the beauty of being adults. We have heated conversations all the time, man. I got some friends I love, and I miss them because we don't always get to chit-chat, but we get temperature, and it's because of being empowered that we're able to keep talking. Also, 
even if we use different words, we are still able to continue to be engaged because we're actually interested to try and figure out what the other is saying. So we'll be like, wait a minute, where's this? We're, we're not aligned. Hold on, let's, let's clear this up. The more you build safe harbor and launching pad relationships, the more this is what is done. There's an expansion of consciousness that takes place because there's a safe space for people to be themselves, passionately speak, and actually even have a confrontation that no one is afraid of because here's where there's practice in knowing that relationships don't rupture. They don't even splinter for the 5D person though. Because the 5D person is a person who navigates their social interactions with an integrated mind, which means you are a differentiated self, which means that you think and feel in one way. I'll think and feel another way. You might have completely opposing views on very important religious, political, and societal topics, and even lifestyle. We will speak to each other with what is called respect and maintaining a temperature that adults know how to do. Again, getting passionate and even know where we can take things personally because it is personal and stating it. So again, emotional maturity and physical maturity are what has been established for my lovely 5D mystics. So this new moon brings more love, not shaming. It does clear out the ones that are not able to want to be around you because they're choosing that they don't like, that you have a way of standing in your space and saying this is who I am this is what I agree with this is what I don't agree with this isn't about initiating the cancel stuff that's cancel culture they're not 5d anyone who's needing to set up strict boundaries has yet to move into a restorative embodied self so when they have strict boundaries this means that they need to surround themselves with those who have them feel loved and accepted if they have good boundaries, meaning the people around them are educated with integrated minds, flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, stable, that'll be great. If they're the ones who say, oh, you could open your mind so much that it falls out, those I have questions about. There's no way that your mind's going to ever fall out if you're actually learning, because this is where education, I love my master's, and I love education, by the way, I would have gotten a PhD. Education, when done by the same researchers that do do education, they're teaching us new information. So the only people who talk about brains falling out are the same people who I'm going to say, did you not know that they're going to build up data? Like this statement in and of itself creates a contradiction. It creates a way for someone to go to their confirmation bias, cognitive dissonance, oh, and become a rigid mind, which leads me back to the adaptive child, who will try to prove their rights control the situation, it's all about them or what's wrong or what's not wrong, and or oh, I'm going to retaliate, I'm going to, you, you did something wrong, here's the shame stuff that goes on again, and then withdrawing. Okay, so those groups of people that are withdrawing, they're isolating, and they're choosing their group. Some of us, the 5D, chooses humanity. Our group is to help the world as a whole, not just one country, not just one place, people, to grow more humane with each other. And so compassion leads the way because that's the emotion of the grown-up. That's the emotion of 5D. Clearing means that those who do not accept and allow you to feel okay with being you, they're not going to be around because you're going to say, hey, I think that was kind of unpolite. I think that was kind of nice. I don't think this was really necessary. I'm okay with that, but I don't think it was necessary. Why would we be okay with it? Because we don't have an ego that gets insecure because a person expresses, I don't like how you think, I don't like how you feel, I don't like your lifestyle. We're like, oh, okay, that, that's actually normal that you would not like something that I will like. It's called being differentiated selves who don't need an identity that has a name, has a thought, has a feeling, and you don't like it. That's where our lovely new moon is a very beautiful day. So emotional maturity, physical, mental maturity means being able to talk to each other and have around the people that we can laugh with, the people that allow us to be reassured that it's okay to be ourselves, even when we're imperfect. And even when those imperfections are not quite understood, we talk about them together. 
have a great full new moon, excuse me, not full moon. That'll be for the next time.